Behind a striped awning in Midtown Manhattan is a maze-like shop whose every turn brings new discovery. What kind of reaction do you get from people coming in here for the first time? Someone who never been here says, wow, it's, it's heaven, it's, it's, it's wonderful. My name is Aziz Osmani, I'm one of the owners. Kalustian is a specialty food market. We carry over 80 countries product. Wow. Yeah, so when you see the baskets of uh, consumer, you know, in the, in the same basket you will see from Mexico to India and Casablanca, you know. It started in 1944 by Mr. Kalustian's Turkish Armenian, and then we purchased in 19. 88. It's an institution. And it seems like it's just endless. Every little corner has a new right, surprise. Right. right. <laughs> every inch of space has been mm -hmm. utilized here. Couscous, quinoa, bulgur, <laughs> all kinds of beans. From here down is all rice. So many hot sauces. Peruvian sauces. Persian, sweet. Indian cola. Nice. My name is Donna Abramson. I'm a manager. Uh, at Calusians, I've been here about eight and a half years, and I feel like my background, my 40 years in the food business, can really advise people. These are the Turkish apricot, the most common, I would say, in this country. Dried, still very moist, very chewy, very sweet, mm -hmm. and orange because of the sulfur dioxide. Mm -hmm. Now these are very special. So these are dark brown because they don't have the sulfur in them. Somehow the organic ones taste like a caramel or something. So the only difference between these is sulfur. They're not sulfur. But apricots from Uzbekistan. Here, let me give you one. Those are great. People love to try to stump us. This is a Nepalese, like a garlic leaf. Very unique. People walk in, oh, you have Jimbo? And we're like, yeah, and they're like, really? <laughs> People also walk in and say, you don't have this, do you? I said, that's the wrong approach at Calusians. You mm. have to say, where is it? And yes. How many varieties do I have to choose from? <laughs> you can choose what ocean you want exactly your salt from. Which ocean. <laughs> is there some way that you hope people feel when they're walking around here? It's so funny because my desk is at the bottom of the stairs. So people are upstairs and like, oh, look at the nuts and dried fruits. Oh, so many hot sauces. Oh, look at the tomato powder. And then they come downstairs and there's this like, <laughs> Wow. So we have 27 aisles, so, you yeah. know, and they're like, oh my God, I, I don't, do I have enough time? And I said, well, we'll find you at 8 o'clock when we close wandering around. Some people are overwhelmed, and I just tell them, just take your time, we're, you know, we're open take all day, breath. take your time, we say breathe. I said, and please ask for help if you're, you know, you have a question about what bamboo rice is, mm. or you don't know how to cook black eyed peas. Some people say, oh, it's like going to a museum, which I always interject, yeah, but you can actually buy things and touch them. Yeah. It's one of my favorite rooms, the room of Chilies. Do you find that most of the people who come in looking for, say, some specific chili are maybe trying a recipe for the first time and trying to find something they have never heard of? Or are they saying, this is the chili that my grandma used that I have to find? Both. Both. And all other variations of that. We have a huge section upstairs of molecular gastronomy, chemicals mm. and additives, whether it's superfoods, whether it's citric acid, whether it's meat glue, transglutamate, MSG has made a huge comeback. We always joke around when we get one new product, we have to rearrange the whole side of the store, <laughs> but we do that all the time. What do you think is your favorite part of the job? Talking to the customers. Yeah. It seems like there's a lot of opportunity here for a coming together of people. And we are very inclusive. The staff here is a combination of people from around the world as our customers really from all over. And that's that's just great. That's a, it's a real New York story, I think, Calusians. It really is the melting pot starts at Calusians. <laughs>